Hi everyone and welcome to our quick video tutorial today on how to enable our default filter option on your bookings chart which is really great for those of you who happen to have site sizing or equipment dimensions set up at your property for the different styles of sites or accommodation that you offer. If we head to our bookings chart once we're on the screen here, you'll notice a filter button. When we click this, it actually expands on the left to show various dimension restrictions that we can fill in and also equipment type restrictions. So if you have a guest on the phone who's going to be bringing their camper van, which is eight meters, and you want to ensure you've got something available, when you start filling in these fields, the chart actually responds and displays what you've got available. If you also use the equipment type function, which allows you to set specific sites to only allow certain types of equipment to stay on them, you can also use this additional filter to further refine those results. On the right, you can also use this for accommodation features and even quoting correctly, especially if you do charge for additional guests. Now, instead of having to always come into the chart and click on the filter button, if we always need it to display, it's super easy for us to enable as a default field on the screen, along with a lot of other features on this page. To do this, we simply head to the options button. You can then select default and required fields. You can configure it for just your username or all other users. And on the left, you simply need to find the field that you're wanting to override or set as a default. And then next to that, we have our system default column. So all we would do is find our filter options, untick the system default, and then simply save. That means that every time I come into my bookings chart now, that button is going to be defaulted. So if I navigate away, and then I simply head back to my chart, it's already expanded and pre-filled for us. So it's a great time saver, and it's a really quick setting for you to enable. That does bring us to the end of our quick video tutorial today, but we hope you've enjoyed learning about how you can enable some time-saving settings on your bookings chart.